been amazing and it's going to get even more amazing, I can tell, to be at Chennai's Lit for Life Festival, supported by the Hindu newspaper, um, for so many reasons. Uh, even before I arrived, I was having, you know, some of the most thoughtful discussions about, about my book and books in general and gender issues with um, members of the Hindu newspaper who reached out to me and who are covering this and preparing uh, for this event. And while I've been here, it's been extraordinary to um, participate a little bit in the life of Chennai, the literary life, to feel the warmth of this um, venue and this uh, occasion because the doors are so open to the Southern India and the Chennai community. We've got school kids here, we've got university students who are volunteering and you know learning as they volunteer, we've got older people in the community, we've got an international um, group of people in the audience We've got an, a global discussion on stage. It's so relevant, and the subjects that uh, you know are programmed are so fascinating and, and so relevant. You know, not just to India, but to a, an international um, community of readers and thinkers as well. Um, and so, for me as a writer, it's just been you know life enhancing to be in a festival like this where um, I can learn more about what's happening in India in literary terms, in cultural terms, in political terms. Um, and also interact with my colleagues who are writing um, in this region uh, and learn about them and learn about you know my own subject, which is gender issues here. Um, so uh, and also you know just the way it's been executed, it's so beautiful and so welcoming and uh, so warm. Um, it's everything that it's more than a literary festival should be. It's also like a a community event for like a global community of readers and writers and um, as a journalist and as a writer, I'm really honored to be part of something like this.